Hello there, Pisces, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today, Pisces, it's about your person. What is your person saying about you, Pisces? So this is a general, so it may or may not resonate with you, Pisces. Just take the part that fits and discard the rest because it only means that this is not the reading for you at this time, Pisces. Also, Pisces, for a limited time, I am offering $20 personal readings for 20 minutes or more, okay? So if you're interested in a personal reading, check the description box below. I believe I've placed my email address in there, so feel free to email me and we can take it from there. Also, Pisces... I am in collaboration with the Copper Connect, okay? So what this means is someone is um, making crystals here, which is my niece. You know, she makes crystals. We Some of these crystals she buy, but most of them we, we dig these ourselves because we do have a lot of crystal minings here uh, in my state here, which is Arkansas here. We even have a diamond mine here, but we, we pick crystals regularly. So this particular crystal, she made this, is called a clear quartz. Isn't it beautiful? Now, along with this clear uh, crystal, this clear quartz, we have hematite. Isn't that beautiful? Hematite. So this hematite is used for your uh, root chakra. It brings in healing. It, it uh, stabilizes your energy. Uh, so it has the ability to transform your energy from negative to positive. So if you're trying to manifest something, you want to make sure your energy is is at peace and at rest uh, and in line with your chakras so that you can manifest things. So this is a clear quartz here along with the hematite here. And also, I mean, there's a, a bunch of variety of jewelry that she sells and they're all crystals here. This is this is another um, make of, of hematite, another uh, version of hematite, hematite beads along with your red crystals. I don't, well, I don't think these are crystals, but these are uh, decorations with this. So this is beautiful. It's simple, but it's beautiful, and it also helps healing. This hemolite uh, uh, on your skin, it stabilizes your energy. So you always have something, because anytime you have earth within your, your, your body, it does something to you spiritually here. So this is this is used to ground your energy. Uh, like I said, it, it has the ability to transform your energy from negative to positive so that your energy is more stabilized here. So if you're interested in crystals, I will leave that uh, in the uh, description box below. All right, Pisces. So Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What is your person saying about your Pisces? Now we're using the Romance Angel Oracle deck. And of course, we're going to be pulling your regular six cards to get your person's energy of what your person is saying about you, Pisces. So let's see. So we got let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You're going to hear my grandson in the back. He just got home from out of state with his dad. And he, I tell you, he run the house. Little old boy, I tell you, I love him so much, though. And underneath this, we have passion. It says, allow your heart to and soul to sing with joy. So <laughs> your person is missing your sexual energy, Pisces. Uh-huh. They have a lot of passion for you. And I feel your person's like, look here. Yeah, I'm, I'm involved with Pisces. Pisces is the shit, man. But I tell you, Pisces won't let go of that good ass loving. Pisces always want to control shit. Pisces want to say when I can have it, when I can't have it, when I can move or when I got to be still. I tell you, Pisces is good, but Pisces need to chill. So your six cards, Pisces, is the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the King of Staffs, The Ten of Cups. We oh my god. Ten of coins. Pisces. Pisces. The Hermit. God dang, Pisces. We and we have at the bottom the eight of coins. God dang, Pisces, what your person been doing? You done did something to this person, honey. Because your person is saying that if you did, your person is saying, you know what, I have so much feeling, so many strong, deep-rooted emotions for Pisces. If Pisces would just take a fucking chill pill, man. If Pisces would just relax, we could have everything. But no, 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 no. Pisces want to run every goddamn thing. Man, I have a lot of love for Pisces. Man, I'm in love with Pisces. I can't front. 
I do, ever since I met Pisces, I fell in love. Now I may not show it, but Pisces know I love Pisces because I want this ten of cups. Man, I love Pisces so much. I'm willing to make our house a home with Pisces. I see a beautiful love with. I see a beautiful loving life with Pisces. Look. I know I'm going to have to put up my player card. I already know. But loving Pisces makes me want to do that because I'm I'm in love with Pisces. I mean, we, we together. We might as well go on and do the damn thing, you know, because Pisces complete me. Yes, Pisces got me all in my head. Yeah, Pisces, Pisces probably even think I got a lot of options. You know, I'm the man. I mean, what can I say? But that don't change how I feel about Pisces. I don't give a damn what Pisces think Pisces know. I love Pisces. I would love to wifey Pisces. And I would give Pisces everything Pisces could ever want and need. I would make sure Pisces is good in this connection. I'm telling you, all Pisces got to do is take a chill pill, shut the fuck up sometime, and just go with the flow. God damn. Yeah, Pisces think I'm a playboy. You know Pisces think I'm a playboy. Man, because I got a lot of swag. I got a lot of hoes. I got a lot of people who want me, but it don't mean I'm after them. I want Pisces. So it is what it is. Pisces knew I was the man when Pisces met me, but that don't mean shit. I still can change. So Pisces think that just because I got options don't mean I'm exploring them options, but just because I'm got, I got options, Pisces don't even want to talk to my ass. No, man, Pisces don't want to talk. I've been calling Pisces. I've been looking for Pisces. But everywhere I go, I can't find Pisces. Pisces ain't saying shit, man. Pisces don't know that I'm trying to start over. Pisces don't know that I love Pisces and I'm trying to get Pisces everything. I miss Pisces. But Pisces ain't hearing it, though. Pisces don't understand that I'm willing to work on this connection. I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to convince Pisces that I'm in it for the long haul. But Pisces so freaking stubborn, Pisces just want to stay single. Man, it's hard to get Pisces. Cause, no, man, it's, Pisces ain't single because Pisces want to be. Pisces is single because Pisces think that I'm messing around. That's the only reason why Pisces is single. Make no mistake about it because everything Pisces got, I can get Pisces that and more. It's just that Pisces don't trust me, man. If Pisces would just let a guard down, I could show Pisces that I love her. I got a lot of love for Pisces, man. I do. I got a lot of love, and I feel like Pisces love me. I just feel like Pisces is just afraid. Oh, no, no. Pisces scared me, man. Because Pisces think I'm going to let her down. Pisces think that just because I'm the shit that all these chicks want me and shit that I'm going to mess with these chicks and, and, and disappoint her. But that ain't how I feel. I mean, all these chicks that I know, we just work together. That don't mean shit. No, we just work together. She just don't know I want to work with her, though. I want to work with my baby. Man, ever since I met Pisces, I've been thinking about our future together, and I see a beautiful, abundant future with Pisces. If Pisces would just chill, I'm telling you, if Pisces would chill, man, Pisces just don't know how I could change Pisces' world. But, man, I'm going to keep the faith because I believe in Pisces. Me and Pisces talk all that shit, but I know Pisces feeling me. Man, we're going to get this shit popping. I don't give a damn what Pisces say. We're going to get this shit, and we both going to be happy. All Pisces got to do is just trust me and just chillax and shut the fuck up sometime. <laughs> Pisces. Oh, my God, Pisces. This has been your reading for you. What is your person saying about you? Now, let me let, let me break your cards down again. Let me just point your cards out because I can get into the narration of it to make it more appealing and more, uh, you know, exciting. But the overall energy is you have the King of Cups, you have the Ten of Cups, you have the King of Staves, you have the Ten of Cups. You have the King of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Coins here. You got two kings and two tens on the board, uh, Pisces. So even though I say that you have this um, where your person is saying this and what your person is saying, I actually see where you possibly have two people here in two different situations here. I see where you have a King of Cups who wants to, who really loves you and want to build a life with you in this Ten of Cups energy. And I see a, a, a King of Staffs with you that could possibly be another option that you have that wants to build stability with you in this Ten of Coins energy. That's what I see. Now, the, the first scenario that I told you based on what your person is saying, that is that that is how I'm going to leave it because that's how I see it. But at the same time, I still have to call it what, how I see it. I see two kings here and I see two tens here. So I feel like you have one person who is going to give you emotion. Either way it go, you're going to be good. Whoever you choose 
you would end up good either way it go. One is going to be um, more emotional, and the other one is going to give you passion and, and pay them bills, okay? <laughs> All right, Pisces, this has been your reading for what your person is saying about you, Pisces. So if this video resonates with you, please like, share, or subscribe. Leave me a comment, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.